Hello everyone on the interwebs, my name is Coltec and today we're going to be watching a StarCraft 2 Auto Swarm replay between our red Terran in the upper right corner of the map playing for Team Millennium. It is 4GG and I was just looking, wow, this is actually a weird, awesome decon with that awesome just arm poking out and then it has a whip. Some that I think that is a I think that's actually a whip or something. It is kind of a weird decal. Just going all around his base versus his blue Zerg opponent playing in the bottom left corner of the map and it's playing for team Acer. It is Nurchio. Now the map is indeed Whirlwind. Actually quite the, the cool map, I have to say. Have this little entrance to the base, and it's actually quite the large base quite large area here there's so much I can actually go on in this area but in front there's just a, just a huge open area but you, ha you can have quite a lot of awesome battles just because of this little little rock with this little hole here that can just kind of make things difficult you can really get a nice concave if his units are actually too much in in this area there's a lot of units that just don't do anything they're just all around they don't do a lot and you can get a really nice concave it's actually pretty pretty awesome you can take this third base or this third base but I think that's actually just around the same you should just take this one it is safer it is quicker it is better to protect now we're seeing a pretty basic build from both players Nurchio however going for the spawning pool first and he already has the gas so you might actually be seeing either really quick and mutilisk, which I don't, I don't actually seem, I don't actually think it's the case because he hasn't expanded yet. He's actually saving money for the expansion. Hell, he could be. He's not actually wasting his money on, on drones. But we might actually be seeing as well some some speedling action that could actually actually work. Now, 4GG is actually expanding, and it is earlier. The Nurchio's expansion, which, which kind of bugs me in a way, still no expansion, no expansion for Nurchio. He's just not going for it. And now the second barracks is it for for a Terran player? No, it's actually the f sorry, it's actually the first barracks. And I guess I actually got it wrong. I thought I was actually I was already started building a barracks, but no. He was he went for the command center first, so he's going very economic, and it might actually not work out versus Nurchio because he is going for that fast early on aggression, including roaches amongst that ball of Zerlings, and it's just going to be quite troublesome for our Terran player. He doesn't have re Reapers, all he's getting is Marines. He doesn't have bunkers, so all I'm saying is he's going to be a lot of in a lot of trouble just defending the pressure with three Zerlings and he's probably just sending out a couple more well he's actually he isn't, he isn't he's just saving the larva maybe even waiting for the roaches to pop up which might actually be the right call because because 4GG is actually going for the Hellions or the Widowmines probably the Hellions because he already make he's already making the factory he's gonna start making a reactor after this probably yes he will so we are going to be seeing some Hellions and six Six, seven roaches being made for Nurchio. He's just going to hit uh, 4GG's base hard with those roaches, and then the Hellions that he's going to start making that are not going to be enough. Two more barracks, and I might actually work out if Nurchio doesn't attack soon. He needs to attack in the, in the next one, two minute mark if he actually wants to get something out of it something out of these roaches and something out of the not expanding he needs to attack in that little time period the roaches cannot be sent here they must be, be rallying straight to the opponent's base is that actually what is going on yes it is he's just sending them here these zerglings will do great wonders even if it is just four zerglings you can do a lot of help even three zerglings you can just leave one zergling there and the rest just send them however more zerglings being sent for nurtio this pressure is going to hit 4GG hard. All he has is two Marines. He made two hell. It's not going to be anything against those those roaches. So it is going to be a lot of trouble for 4GG. And Nurture just decided to all in with those Zerglings and those roaches. And the door, he didn't manage to to, to lock the door. So every bit of, of the Zerg's army is in. Wow, there's actually a lot of SCVs. They might actually do a bit of damage to the roaches, but still. I think that Nurture has got it, got this in the bag because even 
if 4GG manages to defend this, the economic advantage that he has is still pretty amazing. 4GG is not mining at all. And a lot of these SCVs are actually just dying along with the mules. 4G Nurkio just went for it and it just worked out great. And th this placement for the roach is just amazing. Just leaving this roach to tank one or two hits, one or two SCVs and the rest just doing the damage. Looking at the worker skilled. 25 workers skilled, 4GG cannot recuperate from this, 7 supply versus 38 even though it's all workers. Nurtio does not want to expand behind this because he knows he got this in the bag and wow no GG from Mr. 4GG. Victory for Nurtio just by all inning really early on doing that serving roach aggression and it just worked out especially because 4GG just went for the expansion first and he was not ready for any sorts of attacks. And Nurtio just saw that and and just tried to take advantage of it and it worked really really well. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.